everyone, and welcome back to the joy of painting with spaghetti. That's me. Today we're going to paint something a little different, of course. I just got out of work, so I'm a little pissed. Like everybody, I don't normally like or want to go to work. I just do it for the money. So it's sort of something you don't really want to do. It feels like much worse duty, which is what I'm going to paint today. Much worse duty. What much worse duty actually is, is when you're at work, and to make work even worse, they take your job and put you in an even worse position than you already are. So I'm going to paint something from one of my favorite TV shows that I watched growing up. And believe it or not, this show is still on TV. The Simpsons. Only, I don't watch it anymore. It's just not the same. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying I don't watch it anymore. I didn't think it would last this long, to be honest. But, I say the first seven to eight seasons are what I call like the golden years of The Simpsons. That's The Simpsons to me. So many scenes are perfect and just engraved in my mind forever. And that's what I'm going to paint today. One of the scenes I remember very well from The Simpsons. But today I'm going to paint a painting I like to call Much Worse Duty. So if you've seen any of the early Simpsons, you might know what I'm talking about. I'll show the clip real quick. It's a quick scene. <laughs> My life can't get any worse. Homer Simpson, report for much worse duty. Go! 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 After lunch, can I whip you? Nope. Oh, no fair. Go! Hmm. I wonder what makes it turn. Who cares? Yeah, that is much worse duty. So, get it? It's funny. I thought it was hilarious then. I still think it's funny now. And I'm going to paint it today. So, join me, why don't you? Sit. Ta-da! Here we are, in front of the canvas, which I've already sketched it out a little bit. Kind of got the idea of what I'm going to do. To be honest, I sketched this thing like a year ago. It's been sitting around waiting to get done. I've wanted to do it for quite a while, to be honest. I compacted it as much as I could, because obviously the scene was a lot bigger. I didn't have a really long canvas. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? But no, I went with the one piece canvas here, condensed it a bit, but it gets the idea done. I think this is going to be nice when we're done. And again, when they're already a cartoon, they're a lot easier to do. Because of that, I want to also introduce something else I've been meaning to use. These paints. I usually buy the cheap old Walmart paints, but here is a different kind of paint that I've never actually used before. So I'm doing something different. I'm going to use experimental paints. These paints were given to me as a gift from somebody I formerly worked with at a place called the National Passport Center. Her name was Kendra, right? So if you're watching this, Kendra, thank you for the paints that I'm about to attempt to use. Hopefully they work well. We'll see as we paint. Much worse duty. Let's go. A little dab will do you. Actually, I'm gonna start at the top. Hey, as a kid, it just seemed like this was genius. Like whoever wrote this was genius. And like the images, I always used to pause them and draw them out a lot of times. And it was so simple. Some of them were just crudely drawn, it looked like. Like the earlier ones, particularly. If you would pause these things, you would find so many weird little details. But yeah, I would pause these, I would draw them out. Back in the 90s, on VHS tape, so it would be skipping the whole time. I had to, like, then it would unpause itself. I'd have to find that spot again and repause it. Just because I thought the art was neat because of how simple it was. Simpsons art was simple to me. Something you could sketch out. But over the years they made it better. Cleaned it up a bit. I'm so amazed this is still on the air. It's not the same now. It's like, maybe it's, I don't know, it's the writing's definitely different. What's weird to me is I watched some of them not long ago, a few years even, and because they don't age, they're timeless characters, these Simpsons characters, and they always look the same. They don't get any older. So, I'm remembering it as Homer and Marge growing up in, as teenagers in the 70s. And then, now, they've, now they're teenagers in the 90s when I was a teenager. Because in reality, Bart Simpson should be my age. Because we pretty much are if you go by the actual year the Simpsons came out. But he's still 10. You have to line it up with the time. Because the show is still on. And they don't age. So it's just weird. It's like seeing Mickey Mouse with a cell phone or a iPhone, whatever you call them things now. See, even I'm out of touch with that. 
to see like Muppets with with that kind of modern technology and stuff, it just looks weird. I feel like, like they don't age, so they're stuck in that time almost, too, but they're not. They're still here. You can keep them alive forever, even have somebody else, somebody else do their voice. Bugs Bunny. Mel Blanc's been dead a while, but you can keep making Bugs Bunny if you want. You can put an iPhone in Bugs Bunny's hand, and it'll, it'll still look weird to me. I think he belongs in that in the 40s or whenever the hell he was popular originally. <laughs> he was popular for years, but when he when he originally came up. And so far the paint I'm using, the Kendra paint is great. I already like it better than the cheap old Walmart stuff. I knew I would probably. This guy here, like, is his job just sit in a little office down here and wait for somebody to get punished enough to come down and get much worse duty so he can whip them? Logic don't need to exist in the Simpsons universe. That's what made it so funny. To have this one guy on standby whose job is to just whip somebody to turn this wheel. What does he get paid for that? Does he have to wear the mask? all day or just when somebody shows up does he normally just turn the wheel on his own <laughs> until somebody shows up and i like how it's a little sewer grate so we're underground and i guess in the end it all comes down to the actual legality of doing something like this to your employees in real life if somebody did this to you at work your boss did this to you you could probably sue them they put me in a basement, and a man in a black hooded mask whipped me and forced me to turn a wheel. I didn't even know why. Yeah, does Homer know that all he's doing by turning this wheel is causing that dessert tray in the lunchroom to rotate like that? Because I'm sure he's been in the lunchroom before, and you definitely know he's seen the dessert tray. Did he ever put the two together like, wait a minute, this lines up exit now, he's not that smart. He wasn't then anyway. Who the hell knows what they've done to Homer? Then it also suggests that somebody had to build this thing. Engineers, construction workers had to come in and build this. Was this what it was initially designed for? Did it used to turn something completely different and they repurposed it? The way things work. More like Flintstones technology of way things work. Maybe they usually just have a mule tied to that thing, walking in circles. Like as a nuclear plant, 
they must be open 24 hours. Someone's gotta be there monitoring this shit. Now, if they paid you extra for much worse duty, then I could see them justifying at least the option. Well, like once in a while, you have to go on much worse duty, like you had to go on third shift once in a while. Other than that, I'm pretty sure what Mr. Burns is doing here with this much worse duty punishment is illegal. But I don't think he cares. I really don't. As we as he's we've established over many seasons. The whipping guy is topless. Because it gets warm down there. Homer has to wear a shirt. Sort of reminds me of the wheel in towards the end of Lost. Maybe around a time it started getting questionably stupid. I was like, wait a second. I kinda like the idea though of the, of the wheel. They, they should have done more with it, but yeah, you turn the wheel and the island moves. Who the fuck put that wheel in there? Uh, many questions they just didn't answer. <clears throat> this is good exercise for Homer though. He kind of needs it. But then again, he probably immediately went up to the uh, exact dessert tray right after getting out of there and ate all of those cakes. Because you know it's Homer. I've drawn Homer many times over the last 30 something years. And every time I think his head is the hardest thing to get perfectly correct. Well, there it is, all finished. Guess I can call that one all done. What do you think, folks? I'm gonna call it exactly what it is. Much worse duty. $150, or best offer. I wanna thank Kendra, like I said, who gave me these paints, because these paints were unbelievably better than the ones I usually use. These are really good paints. I might switch to these. They're better than the crappy regular Walmart ones I'm used to, but they'll get the job done. But thank you, Kendra. These paints were excellent. And this painting shows it. I think the best part of these paints is the fact that it spreads better. It doesn't, it's not as wet, so it doesn't drip as much. And it's just, it's thicker. It's, it's just better paint. All around better paint. I highly recommend it. I'll say the name. Soho, Urban Artist Acrylic Paint. Yeah, these paints are something else. I wonder if they sell them at Walmart. <laughs> Probably not. But yep. I owe this one to Kendra again. Thank you. For the free paint. Back in my passport center days. There's a lot of people that work in that building. Thanks again, Kendra. I hope the passport center is treating you better than it treats me. If I had painted a picture of Deadpool with a gun, I'd have been fired by now. And uh, there is one thing I noticed. That I, I don't know if you noticed it in the actual clip that I showed of this scene, but I painted it a little bit different here. The colors are a little bit different here. One thing in particular I painted different, if you'll notice, Carl and Lenny both have burgers. And for some reason, in the actual episode, I wouldn't have noticed this had I not done this painting. And I wouldn't have mentioned it had my girlfriend not pointed it out too. It's like, yeah, I did notice that. Carl has a black burger bun for some reason. I mean, that's not even a thing. So why would he have a black burger bun? Because he's black? I don't know. Is that a racist thing? I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. Thought I'd point that out. But I just made it regular, non-racist burger. <laughs> so they both have the same bun color not the black one, but I just thought that was weird. I thought it was worth pointing out. But it comes and goes so quick you barely notice it. All these years went by, I never noticed that. Until now, until I paused this scene and really looked at it and said, why the hell is Carl's burger bun black? Because he's black, Lenny's is still the regular color, white, whatever, yellow. Just thought that was strange. But other than that, I like how this came out. And I guess that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. 
This has been the joy of painting with spaghetti. Either way, good night everyone. Adios for now.